But I don't know what to do with this bit. Oh, there's not really much left anyway, is there? Hello everyone and welcome to an extra video this week because I am desperate for a haircut and it's just come to the time where I'm just gonna have to do it myself. Now if you live in the UK or probably as many other countries in the world at the moment you'll be currently in lockdown and I did have a hairdresser's appointment just before I think we went into tier 4 but then obviously we went into tier 4 and then I think we went straight into a lockdown and I think the last time I got my haircut was in November and it's just it's too thick and it's driving us crazy. The thing is in the last lockdown I attempted to cut my hair and it just went so bad it went really bad it was a disaster the worst haircut I've ever had in my life so I'm hoping today things are gonna go a lot better and last time when I attempted to cut my hair I tried to do it with a beard trimmer that didn't work obviously but this time I borrowed some proper hair clippers but I don't trust myself and I don't think this is gonna go very well at all but let's dive in and hopefully I won't ruin my hair the thing is this is so hard to record I've got a camera set up behind us. I don't know whether it's focusing on the back of my head. Hopefully it is. Right, so I think I'm just gonna start with the back first, because that's the bit that's bothering us the most. It's like, just, it just needs to come off. It's irritating us. So I usually get a grade two on the back, and then the hairdresser just somehow magically makes it look okay. I think they do blending, and I don't know how to do that. And number two is six millimeters. How do these go on? At the end of the day, hair grows back. It's not the end of the world. I'm getting myself stressed out over it. Also, I'm gonna have to do it without seeing the back of my head because I just, I don't know how that's possible. I can't, I just can't do that. I was thinking about holding mirrors up and stuff, but I just, I'm just gonna feel. I'm just gonna feel what feels right. And I'll definitely know if it feels wrong. Grid two on the back, here we go. That didn't do anything. Why didn't that do anything? Oh, it's doing something now. Does it look good? Does it look okay? Just carry on. That's a lot of hair. Oh, I'm worried. I am so worried. I don't feel like this is right. I really don't feel like this is right. You know when I said I'll know if it feels wrong, I feel like it's going wrong. I'm just gonna continue because I, well, I can't stop now, can I? Also, I will say, I find it funny because I've watched a few other YouTubers cut their own hair and stuff, and everyone else just seems to like do like a little trim, and here's me just going in for it. The thing is, I don't know how far I go up my head. Do I stop at some point? I also want to apologise if any professional hairdresser ends up watching this because I'm sure you're cringing. I'll probably cringe when I have to edit this and see what I've done to the back of my head. I'm really worried just looking down and seeing how long it was. I think this is the length I wanted off. Let me just see what that's looking like. I don't think that's looking very good at all. <sighs> what am I doing? The thing is, I can feel long bits, I can feel short bits. Okay, a little check-in. How's the back looking? Is it looking okay, guys? It's feeling better. Like along here is feeling okay actually, but I don't know what to do with this bit. Oh, there's not really much left anyway, is there? Oh, I don't know what to do. I don't know how to cut hair. That's the issue I'm having. Do I leave the back like this? No, I can't. I can't. Oh my God, no, I can't. Oh. <laughs> oh, what have I done to the back of my hair? How does the hairdresser get this bit to blend in? Oh, bollocks. This is going bad. It's happening like the last time I cut my hair. Do I just shave it all off? What I might do is just do hand cutting now. Can't see what I'm doing though. Yeah, I'm just gonna hand cut the bit that I think is flopping over kind of the bald part and try and blend it in the best I can. And I've only got a pair of like craft scissors. The thing is, I'm getting to the point now where I just, uh, honestly, I just couldn't give a shit. 
Also, how is everyone doing in lockdown and stuff like that? I know we were all hoping for 2021 to be far better than 2020, but it just seems to be the same, doesn't it? <laughs> But I hope if you are having a shit day, my inspirational haircut will just cheer you up a little bit. I'm just gonna cut that bit off. The thing is, are there any rules to cutting hair? I don't think there is. I think you just go for it. Ah, oh, that feels better actually. I don't think it looks better, but it feels, it just feels nicer. I definitely don't think when I got the hairdressers, my hairdresser like hacks at my hair, like what I'm doing. Is that looking any better? No, it's... <laughs> oh no, it's looking... What's happened? What's this bit here? Oh, I've missed... What's this bit here as well? That needs cutting off. There's a lot that needs doing to this. Where's that weird chunk of hair? Is it here? Yeah. Right, I'm gonna try and do like the bit over here where it, like neatens it all up and it looks nice. But obviously I'm gonna do it without being able to see what I'm doing. Did that do anything? Oh, I feel like it did something. Yeah, that feels all right. Oh, that, oh no, there's a bit here. What's this bit? Does this bit belong to the front or the back? I'll just get rid of it. Okay, I feel like the back is looking all right. Do, do we agree? I can't see it, but... Okay, I'm gonna brush myself off and then we're gonna start on the front. I think the front will be easier because I can see what I'm doing. Okay, so one thing I do like to do with my hair, because I have quite thick hair, is use a pair of these. And these are thinning scissors, and they just take some weight out of your hair. So I'm gonna just do a little bit of that, not too much, I don't want it too thin. And all you do is just do that. The thing is though, don't mix them up with regular scissors, because that would just be a disaster. You would just cut a giant chunk of your hair off. And it looks like you've done nothing, but then when you brush, you just get all of this hair out. Like look at all of that. Crazy, but I have experience doing that. I do it all the time. So that wasn't too scary. Okay, so I'm liking my fringe quite long. I don't mind it. I think it could do with like a little trim though, just a little tidy up. But I think I'm gonna start with the back first because I want some length off the back. This is what the hairdressers do, isn't it? Yeah. How much do we want off about that? Yeah. Oh, it's a bit too much. Ah, this is so much easier than doing the back. Oh, I can't see. Oh, bollocks, I cut far too much off there. I didn't mean to do that. But I can't stick it back on now. I think I'm just gonna use my hands. I think it's easier than a comb. Also, by the way, I was thinking, before I recorded this video, I was gonna come up with kind of like an inspirational message about kind of staying strong through these tough times and all of this kind of positivity. However, I was thinking that the world's like really shitty at the minute and I find it quite annoying when people tell you to stay positive. I think to try and stay positive the best you can is obviously fantastic. However, I also think calling a spade a spade is perfectly fine too. I think you're more than welcome and more than allowed to feel a certain way, whether you feel depressed, whether you feel angry, anxious, upset, fearful, frustrated, any of these emotions are valid emotions to have during this whole time that we're in at the minute. And I think I'm just getting annoyed with people saying, oh, well, you know, cheer up, it could be worse. And it's just like, well, you know, if I wanna be upset and I wanna sit in a corner of a room in darkness and eat my body weight in chocolate, then that's what I'm gonna do. And no one's gonna tell us I can't, because that is gonna make us feel slightly better. Although I hope everyone is doing really well, you know, it's fine to just be struggling a little bit and to be feeling a bit shitty. I know I have. The thing is like when the camera goes on and I record videos and stuff, I manage to kind of just wipe away how I'm feeling because I want people to come to my videos and just enjoy, you know, a light-hearted experience of me ruining my hair. But you know, sometimes, you know, oh, I, I'm talking too much. I've just cut far too much off there. But you know what I'm talking about. So it's fine to feel 
upset at the moment, but I just hope everyone is coping the best they can. I don't really have any advice for you, unfortunately, because my mental health is just rapidly declining as it is. <laughs> it was before the pandemic started, to be fair. Cutting your hair is quite therapeutic, though. I'm actually enjoying myself. I'm doing a terrible job, but it feels quite nice. I might do it all the time, you know. Save us some money. I think that's looking all right. I do want to get these sides cut shorter. How do I do this? Basically like what I've been doing the entire time. Guessing. Oops. All right, now, this is the precision part. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's very blunt. Oh, that's super sharp. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Oh. Well, we'll just do one of these. This is what hairdressers do, don't they? And just makes it look a little less shite. Right, now I need to do the other side exactly the same, even though I did that side wrong, just so it matches. I think this is what I did. Yeah. Yeah, that looks terrible. So it's the same. I don't like this bit of hair that goes like round my ear. That kind of annoys us. Do I just cut that off? Yeah, it's gone now. I'm not gonna lie, the back doesn't look very good, but the front, I'm starting to kill it. Looking pretty good. I don't know whether I want to attack the fringe. I'll do a little bit, just to even it up a bit. Okay, I think I might be done, you know. What do we think? Does it look alright? I think I've actually done a really good job. The front part, anyway. How's the back doing? Do we think it looks good? Do we not think it looks good? I think I struggled blending. Yeah, this this feels okay. But that does it for today's extra video of me giving myself a little DIY lockdown haircut. Hopefully you have enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know down in the comments whether you've cut your hair throughout this entire thing and how well you did. Did you do as well as me? And I hope everyone is keeping safe and keeping sane and just trying the best to get through this very, very shitty situation we're all in at the minute. But anyway, I'll see you on Friday for a brand new video. Bye!